softening the edges, adding a gentle glow to your image is our topic today on uh-huh, Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. All right, so let's just dive right in. So here we are with a beautiful image of a little girl. What we want to do is soften the edges around it to give it like a dreamy look. And if we come down here to creative, we'll click on glow. And under glow, you'll see we have several options from soft focus down to the Orton effect. I want to click on Orton effect. Now the Orton effect is going to add a nice dreamy glow to this image. Ooh, look at this. So, and right now, all we care about is the edges. So let's use a mask. And I want to use radial mask. And I want to draw that circle around her face because I don't want the effect to land on her face. I only want it on the edges. Oh, there it is. Now come down to the advanced. If you don't see it, just click on the little arrow here. And I want to soften the edges even more. And here I have the chance of brightening up that edge. And there we have it. So just by adding that simple low effect with the Orton effect, we're able to take an image like this and give it a soft, dreamy look. All right. So now that we have that done, let's go back and reanalyze how I got the actual shot. So from here, I'm going to go to the original image, and that's this image here. So the grandmother was holding on to this beautiful little baby. This is how we got the look. And yes, I have my buddy Dale behind me uh, getting the, the little girl to make some emotion or get some character out of her. So let's go to cr uh, crop. And I know I want to make this an 8 by 10 So a nice 5 by 7 is good. And I'm going to crop this in. I don't mind cropping the head. I think that looks fine like this. The hair is a little issue. So I'm going to bring it up like this. And now I got my crop. This little section here, if it bothers you, just clone it from here or drop it down. But for now, I like where it's at. Now I'm going to come down to the portrait tools before I add the glow. And this is where it's kind of important because I do want to add the glow or the, the portrait tools first before I add the glowing effect around the edges. So I want to enhance the eyes, leave the eyes at the original, and here we are with Eye Enhancer. Look at that. Add a little flare under the eyes. So notice we're getting, look at that. We're bringing life back to her eyes. Oh, that looks good. Oh, she's a baby. She doesn't really have dark patches under her eyes. That's fine. Eyebrows look good. Let's just improve them a little bit more. Ooh, look at that. Her lips, let's saturate them just a touch. All right. So this, look at that, is the effect we did with the face. Now let's go to the skin. We'll apply a gentle amount. And there's really no shine, so I'm not worried about it too much. Before, after just a gentle um, skin softening. Now we got all that done. And it's looking pretty good. You know, one thing I, I do want to do is come back to my develop. And just be on the safe side, I want to change that to portrait. Yeah, there it is. So I wanted to make sure I have the correct camera profile. Portrait was good. And notice... Again, I was able to go to edits. That's like your history. And I'm going back and making slight changes so it's non-destructive. Now that I have it, if I go back to the top, all of these effects we applied are just added. Oh, look at that. That looks beautiful. Now, I'm going to add the the effect, the, the glow effect again. And then we'll take this to another in another direction. So here's the glow. Orton effect. I'm just going to give it a generous amount. 
if this bothers you, then do the masking at this point. I'm going to use radial. There we go. So now I'm having it remove the effect on her face and only apply it towards the edges. And here we have further under the advance. Again, I had it open. Soften the, the edges. And look, you can see where that brightness comes into play. Now, I like the warmth right where it's at, but you could add or take away some of that warmth. I'm just double clicking on it to take it back to the um, reset to the original default. And a little contrast, and that's fine. Good, there we have it. Before and after. I love this effect. Now, I polled, <laughs> dur during the photo shoot, I asked a lot of, I polled the men and women. For some reason, the women loved the full color. I asked men, and the men loved black and white. <laughs> what we'll do is during the Ask Me Anything segment, is I'll get your advice on what you prefer. And all I'm doing is I convert it to black and white. I'm using the red channel because red is in her skin tones along with yellow. Look at that. And that's either going to brighten or darken those effects. So here it is in color. Here it is in black and white. In fact, what I did do earlier was this. I'm going to reset that. Just take this layer and duplicate it. And now it's on its own layer. Then we can apply the black and white and take it from there. So this way we have two versions of it, full color and in black and white. All right. So that's how we add a nice dreamy glow around the edges by using glow and then choosing the Orton effect. All right. So if you have any questions on that, please leave it in the comments. For everyone else, stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment. And for everyone else, I'll see you at the next Coffee Break.